right, this time we're going to chat about a resource called Rubric Maker. I'll go ahead and show you the app info on this so that way you can see exactly what this is called. But if you look up Rubric Maker in the Chrome Web Store, this is what will pop up. Okay, it's by ThemeSpark by Ed Courage. Uh, it is an absolute wonderful resource if you're needing to create a rubric of some sort for any project. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the rubric maker so that way you can see exactly how it works. It is aligned with Common Core standards. Uh, I live in Indiana and so we don't necessarily have the Common Core standards, but there's a lot of similarities. There's only a few differences here and there. Uh, so for the most part, it matches the needs of, of my students. So what you can do is you can create a project rubric based off the standards right here with this tool. You just pick your standards. I'm going to pick 21st century standards and we'll say this is an English language arts project. I'll save selections and then ask you what grade. I'm going to pick fourth and then you can pick your topics here. So if I want to do communication and creativity and we'll do some speaking and listening. Let's say it's an oral report of some sort and then I'm going to save my selections here. All right, and then you can select your standard. When you hit select standard, and then it has some more broken down details and you can choose which ones you want or want to not include. I'm going to go ahead and just select all of these for time's sake. As you can see, there's quite a few different options here. I'm going to go ahead and just select some random ones here. And there we go. I'm going to hit continue. And then what it's going to do is it's going to show you your rubric. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a title. And then you can also choose different standards or you can reverse the grading scale if you'd rather it go four to one or one to four, depending which order. You can specifically edit one topic if you don't feel that it is meeting your specific needs. So you can go in there and type it directly how you want and save it. And then once you're all done, you hit save. Okay, so there's my project. Now what I can do with it is I can edit it. I can download a PDF version. Uh, I can share this with my friends. Um, I can even build lessons off of this. This is a great resource for even building lesson ideas. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my Google Drive. So you can just hit your drive and you can decide where you want to put it. When you hit the change option, you can decide which folder it goes into, the only thing I've noticed is that you can't create new folders from here. So you need to have your folder ready ahead of time. Make sure you have that ready to go. Then you'll be able to actually organize it a little better. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it in my drive for now. I'll hit cancel, hit save. And now I have a PDF version of the oral report rubric in my Google Drive. Right. If I want to see these expanded, I can hit the hide button. I can see all of the standards ready to go. If I want to share it, I'll hit the share option. And this is where you can, you can email it directly from here, share it through social media, however you prefer to share this with your colleagues. Or you can just grab this direct URL right here and copy it and do what you want with it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to my dashboard. And when I go to my dashboard, I can see any rubrics that I have already created. You can also create folders. So if you want to create a folder specifically on a topic, and then you can create the folder. And then if you want to put one directly in a folder, you can move it directly into that folder like so, just by dragging and dropping and it goes right in there. So if I want something in the digital project folder, I can do that, or the test folder, I should say. I'll move this major project in the test folder, and that'll help you organize it, okay? So that's a little bit about creating a rubric using the Rubric Maker from ThemeSpark. So check it out. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's a great resource and uh, easy way to create rubrics so you can better assess student projects.